Welcome back, guys. So today I'm going to cover journey number five, and this is part of advanced filter part two. So let's just start our journey for advanced filter part two. That's the number five. And in this journey, we are going to learn any, all, and in operators. So let's see what it is actually. Uh, prior to the, this journey, I have explained you greater than, less than, and, or, between, right? Then this, this is any, all, in. It's kind of similar English words where whenever we choose something, right? For an example, if I'm going to say, hey, uh, if we have four, four cities in the list to visit, let's visit any of the city, you know? Suppose you went on vacation somewhere, and now you have list of some cities to go next, and you don't have much energy to go there. So what we can do? We can just decide to go any of the city. That exactly is the any operator here. And all, if you have more energy, more number of days, so you can just decide, okay, let's go to all the cities, right? And in is a little different. In, we just have to select one. So let's see. I'm going to tell you one example of one of the college campus. So if you are doing a study and now many companies are coming to get you hired. So in college, there will be three categories of a student, you know. One who is kind of not very much big goal, so he is just thinking, suppose some companies are coming and then he's thinking and uh, praying from God that, okay, I should get the package which is greater than at least one of my friend package, you know? He don't have much bigger goal, he's just thinking, at least if I'm going to get the salary package, which is greater than at least one of my friends, then I'm fine, you know. But other guy thinking, hey, I'm the topper of the class. I'm not going to satisfy myself to just get salary package from one student or two of the students. I want to get salary package, which is more than all of my friends. So if you are just thinking that at least one of your friends, that's where any will come. And all, if you are thinking that, okay, you are going to get the salary package from all, more than all of your friends, then it is all. And this guy just thinking, okay, I don't want to get less, you know, and I don't also not want to get too much. At least I want to get same package of one of my friend. So this is in operator. How we can relate with the database. So if I can show you any example here, the first one, what we are doing here, any, suppose your one of friend got package $1,000, you know, per day or per week. And another friend got $9,000 per week. It's too much. Let me just move to per month itself. So $1,000 per month, $9,000 per month, and $15,000 per month, okay? 
So you can calculate, you know, like what is your waste, what, how much salary and all you want to get it. I'm just making one example, so don't get very much emotional about, okay, why only $1,000 is there in the example? So this is just example, you know, it does not mean that I'm just trying to set your goal lower down. So this guy, see friend got this much salary package. And now he's thinking I should get at least more than one of my friend package. So if I'm going to execute this query, so let's see, I'm getting here 24,000, 20,000, 4,000, 3,000, right? So these many friends got the package in the college, but the out of that, your friend got $1,000, $9,000, and $15,000. So all these guys, you can see here, whose package is more than any one of these three. So this is what you are, you are trying to land up somewhere if you get any one of these packages. Now, another guy who want to get salary package greater than four from all of his friends. So his friend got $1,000, $9,000, and $15,000, right? So now if I'm going to execute the package, he, what is his ambition, you know? So he's targeting somewhere 17,000, 20,000, and 24,000. That's a good package, right? So that's the any operator in that cell, if you want to understand, means if you are going to write any, you can write even here less than, greater than, less than equal to, greater than equal to, whatever it is. So generally we write less than and greater than. So less greater than mean greater than any one of these. Here all, greater than all means greater than all of these values. You can write less than as well. And now let's see the third one. This guy is trying to get the same package, whatever his friend got. So in this case, if you will run this query, you can see this one. So when you were, we have to use any all and in operator, you need to first think that, hey, what exactly you are trying to achieve here? Either you want to get greater than any of these value or less than any of these value or greater than or less than all of these values or equal to any one of these values. So in that case, you can use any all or in operator. Let's quickly recap all these things on the slide. So I have today's while I have covered any, all, and in op operator. And if you can see the syntax here, syntax is column name, operator, greater than, less than, than any, and the values basically. So you can see salary less than any one of these. Got it? And in same case, all operator, all operator also will have kind of same syntax, but it will be greater than all of these values or less than all of these values. And in is selecting equal to any one of these values, so if you can see here, department ID, get all those employees who are working in either 40 or 60 or 90, we can get all those employees related to that. So let me just quickly show you this department ID related examples too. So if I'm going to write a query here,
and I'm just going to write based on department ID. So department ID in 10, 40, and 80. Let's run it. So you can get the employees related to department 80, you can get 40 and 10 also. So what is happening? For each incoming row in the table, it goes and checks, hey, any one of these departments is meeting the condition. For an example, if I'm going to run without the filter condition, this query one. So we have 108 records. So how it works for the first row, it will go and check, hey, department ID is matching any of these values. So here it is none, so of course no. Let's see for the second row. Second row department ID is matching with 10, 40, or 80. Oh no, so this will not get selected. So like that, for each record, this filter condition will be validated. And if the department ID will match with any of these values, then the result will be selected. Got it? So that's what we have so far covered today. That all, first of all, I have explained any, all, and in operator. So in the next journey, and that will be the part three of the advanced filter, I'm going to explain you guys like operator, and that's very much important. Thanks all of you and we'll see you soon in the next one.